All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a German tanker, I present you with your worst nightmare at low tiers. The KV-1E, which stands for Ikrani Rovani, I believe, and it means screened. Yes, the KV-1, which is a beast of a tank. Now, with more armor. Check this thing out. It's got like, basically, they call it screened, but it's more or less spaced armor, and you can see these just giant bolts. Um, all over this tank right there in front of that upper hull plate right there I mean this thing's just got a lot more armor so you won't enjoy fighting it that's for dang sure I use green X's because I'm a real tanker let's check out some of the other tanks though we're going to be looking at the Russian new tanks right here in the patch that we have. We have a couple of them. Um, one thing you should keep note of is that this T26 first GV TBR um, is a premium tank. There's an equivalent one for Germany, the, uh, the German Panzer II here. And whichever battle you play first, you get that premium tank for free or you can purchase the other one obviously but um let's check out some more of these russian tanks so we've got the new t26 premium which you can basically get for free you can see how it has a battle rating 1.0 the armor and everything is pretty much the same as this t26 so it's just a premium one so it can help you grind a little quicker at that early tier you also have the kv1e which we just showed off and then we have this T-34. Now we're gonna test drive, actually we're gonna just show them off real quick because you've played these tanks. We're gonna customize them so you can see their paint jobs because that's what's really going on right now. Look how cool this winter paint job is. I mean, that is awesome. So that's the T-34, we'll go back. And someone in the comments let me know what gv.t.br means so we can all be informed. And um, this one also has got a pretty cool camo pattern. Very unique winter camo pattern. And that's their standard one. I'm wondering if they're going to kind of do a League of Legends type thing. Um, this is just a quick interjection, a thought that I've been having. Um, because if you add more customization that you can purchase like superficial stuff um, paint scheme stuff like that you could do historically accurate it'd be really cool if they did that and because I would imagine a lot of people would start buying that and then they could ease up in other areas like maybe it's not as much of a grind or you could you know kind of alleviate some of the the grind or costs in other areas because you could make up for it maybe even make even more by those cosmetic changes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we do have one new Russian plane, that being this premium at 850 Golden Eagles, Lag 334, armed with one 37 millimeter cannon and one 12.7 millimeter machine gun. So we're gonna take this out for a test flight and check it out. Is that a premium IL-2M attacker? Yes, it is. And it's in. Avenger painting. We'll check that out. It's got a really cool paint job. If you like killing tanks, you're going to love the IL-2M. Furthermore, with it being premium, this thing will be exceptional at grinding. It's got a 500% reward and 172% bonus to uh, research points. So as far as silver lines and research points are concerned, if you're going to be attacking tanks, it's almost a must-buy. Um, although it is kind of pricey, battle rating of 3.3, let's compare because in certain cases, okay, it's the same battle rating. Sometimes if it's a plane in different nations, they will change it. Um, so you guys are probably all well aware of an IL-2M and how it flies. We've all flown it at least once, haven't we? So we're going to check out the lag 334 with that 37mm cannon. People fly out on uh, Stalingrad here. And, uh. Alright, that's the sound. 
of it in the cockpit. Dang, man. Got a pretty cool little custom uh, design there on the left and the right. 56. 56. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. No, 56 second reload on the cannon. Quite lengthy if it's not upgraded like this one isn't. So, pretty cool. We do have a couple new, new planes. I'm going to have all the information for the rest of the patch in the video description for all of these vehicles. So you can check it out there. Because there's a lot of other subtle changes in terms of flight models, maps, um, new operations and missions and stuff like that. So you should check it out. You guys remember the Lumberjack? You guys gotta remember the Lumberjack. Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank you all for watching. If you want more information, check that video description or check the rest of my videos showing off Dev 1.41 Dev Server action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here on the Dev Server for another one of the sub 1.41 patches. Here we have the Panzer II Deutsches Afrika Corps. Um, pretty cool desert camo paint scheme right there this is one of the premium tanks one of the two the panzer II here and then there's a russian t26 with a pretty cool camo pattern and um it depending on what's the first battle you play once this patches in you get it for free so keep note of that